Unit 7, Lesson 2. Are we aware of these rights? Article 12. No one shall be subjected to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home or correspondence, nor to attacks upon his honour and reputation. Everyone has the right to the protection of the law against such interference of attacks. Article 14. Everyone has the right to seek and to enjoy in other countries asylum from persecution. This right may not be invoked in the case of persecutions genuinely arising from non-political crimes or from acts contrary to the purpose and principles of the United Nations. Article 15. Everyone has the right to a nationality. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his nationality nor denied the right to change his nationality. Article 16. Men and women of full age without any limitation due to race, nationality or religion have the right to marry and to find a family. They are entitled to equal rights as to marriage, during marriage and at its dissolution. Marriage shall be entered into only with the free and full consent of intending spouses. The family is the natural and fundamental group unit of society and is entitled to protection by society and the state. Article 18. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion. The right includes freedom to change his religion or belief and freedom either alone or in community with others and in public or private to manifest his religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship and observance. Article 19. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. Article 20. Everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. No one may be compelled to belong to an association. Article 21. Everyone has the right to take part in government of his country, directly or through freely chosen representatives. Everyone has the right to equal access to public service in his country. The will of the people shall be the basis of the authority of government. This will shall be expressed in periodic and genuine elections which shall be by universal and equal suffrage and shall be held by secret vote or by equivalent free voting procedures.